Nice fish. Nice fish. Lights, camera, action. Catching a big fish on something that you made yourself? <laughs> I don't think there's a better feeling in the world. Hello everyone, Dr. Tihoki here for this film short on how to tie the Dr. Tihoki salmon trolling fly. It's an easy thing to make and it works so well if you use a rotating flasher and you put it down about 130 feet, use 15 to 20 pound lead cannonballs, and as you see here, the fish do like this fly. <laughs> so let's get started now. You want to take, I usually use the insides of a big pen, a writing pen, with the ink gone. That will allow the line to go through. This is called a tube fly. And let's just say, for instance, I wanted to make an all white with some green and blue in it for the San Juan Islands, and I like to call that the Al Bruce. You cut yourself a little piece of hair. You put it around the tubing. Some people like to use flashaboo, glow-in-the-dark material. Anything will work. The thread that I found that works the best is called Dural Thread, and I used it for years and discovered that every time I glued the head together, the red turned color. And the finally, after using model cement that you would put a model together with for the glue, I'm using Dural Dirty and Dural Duty. Try saying that five times fast. 132. All right. So that's the green or the red that I'm using. The green and white color combination that I'm going to be using, we're going to call it the Al Bruce. And it's simple to tie. You just flip it around a few times like I'm doing here couple of half hitches. Now you can, if you want, take your scissors and you can trim these hairs around nice and easy. Continue your wrap. And when you're all done, the line will slide through the leader and you'll have yourself ha, one fish catching fly. Until next time, this is the doc reminding you about the waters of the Northwest. I'm in my bibs right now, my Mustang bibs. I suggest you always wear your life jacket. Bye-bye.